The next topic we're going to do is graphing quadratic equations. Um, another thing where it's a pretty easy checklist of what you have to do. The first thing, the easiest thing to do is look at the very first term, 3x squared. If it's positive, it opens up. If it's negative, it opens down. So that's positive 3. I know it opens up. You got one part right. Axis of symmetry and vertex are very, vertex are very similar. You need to know the equation x equals negative b over 2a. That's how you find axis of symmetry in the first step of finding the vertex. Okay? So my x equals negative b over 2a is going to be negative, negative 6, because it's a negative here, and it's negative in front, over 2 times 3. Here's a common mistake that kids make, is they try to plug it all in their calculator at once, and you're going to get, in this case, the answer 9, which is wrong. This actually ends up being 6 over 6, which is 1. So once you get that, there's three things you know x equals 1, the x-coordinate of your vertex is 1, and the middle point in your table is going to be 1. So that's what you automatically right away can do. Okay. Now, to find the y value here, I'm going to take 1 and I'm going to plug it into the original equation. y equals 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 2. Well, this gives me 3 minus 6 plus 2, y equals <coughs> negative 1. So now, just by doing that, pretty simply, I have my vertex, I have my axis of symmetry, I have the middle point in my table. This is where having a graphing calculator is going to really benefit you. If you go to y equals and you type in 3x squared minus 6x plus 2, and you go to your table, I'm going to put that 1, negative 1 on my table, and I'm going to take the two points above that, 0 and 2, negative 1 and 11, I'm going to take the two points below that, 2 and 2, 3 and 11. Now, patterns you should look for. If you did this right, these two numbers are going to match, and these two numbers are going to match. If they do not match, you've done it wrong, because we want to pick the vertex in the middle of our table. Now, we plot the points. We're good to go. Negative 1, 11 is going to be way up out of our graph, so 0, 2 is right there. 1, negative 1, and 2, 2. So we know our parabola is going to look something like that. Now, solutions. In an ideal world, the solutions are going to be perfect points on the graph. Well, you've got to know a solution means x-intercept. It's the same thing. So I'm looking at this. Most of the time, it's going to be pretty obvious. In this question, it's not. I would say my solutions here are... 0.50 and 1.50. And that equation or that uh, graph is done. Now we can go ahead over to the next graph. Again, right here, negative 2 tells me this opens down. Okay, I'm going to do x equals negative b over 2a. x equals negative, negative 4 over 2 times negative 2. So x equals 4 over negative 4, which equals negative 1. x equals negative 1, negative 1 comma something, and negative 1 goes right there. Again, how are we going to go ahead and find what this value is? We're going to plug in our negative 1 to this equation, or you can go into your table, and you can do it that way. So... I can do y equals negative 2 times negative 1 squared minus 4 uh, times negative 1 minus 2. Get out of this one, y equals 0. Now I'm just going to fill in the table. Negative 3, negative 2, 0, 1. Negative 8, negative 2, negative 2, negative 8. So as I said before, these ones match, we're good. These ones match, we're good. Now all we do is plot points. So negative 3, negative 8, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 2, and 1, negative 8. Okay. In this case, there's only one solution. It's at the point negative 1, 0. That is found right there in the table as well. And lastly, on these ones, we've got one more equation here. 
negative x squared minus 4x minus 3. Okay, again, I'm going to look right here and see this opens down. I'm going to do next, or x equals negative b over 2a, x equals negative negative 4 over 2 times negative 1, x equals 4 over negative 2, which is negative 2. All right, again, x equals negative 2, negative 2 comma something in my vertex. I'm going to go ahead to my table in this one and find negative 2 in my table in the graph. I see that's 1, so that's 1. I see uh, negative 3, 0. I see negative 1, 0. These two numbers match, so that's good. And then I see 0, negative 3, negative 4, negative 3. These numbers also match. That's good. Now, I take this, I plot the points. Negative 4, negative 3. Negative 3, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 3. Go ahead and play connect the dots. I see that I have two solutions on this graph, one right here, one right there. The solutions are going to be negative 3, 0, and negative 1, 0. So graphing a quadratic might seem like a daunting task. It's really not that bad if you just follow procedures. You absolutely have to remember x equals negative b over 2a.